Good morning, dear friends and my dear students. So today we are going to continue the same lesson: industrial clusters in Tamil Nadu. The previous classes we dealt with the importance of industrialization, the development of industrialization, and we proceed to the next topic of industrial clusters. Very very important aspect. Industrial clusters. We talked about how industries. Uh, join together as a group, as a closeness, as oneness, develops and produces a large amount of production. How they are united by their collaboration, and how they develop more and more through the competition. So that's what we dealt with. And in that uh, clusters, we talked about the industrial clusters in Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, we talked about. the different developments they will talk about the various aspects of the industrial clusters the historical development of industrialization then we also talked about the industrialization in the colonial period so this is what which we dealt in the previous class now let us proceed with the another topic these in okay the industrialization development in the post independence and mainly in the early 1990s so how much this industrialization developed or uh, grown very much in during this particular time soon after the independence there were a, a large uh, enterprises they uh, set up they brought about both a central government as well as the state state government it was in the different uh, areas different uh, aspects for example the first one integral coach factory which was set up in chennai uh, the major work of this integral coach factory is uh, rail coaches and we talk about the bharat heavy electrical limited is another one which is located in tuchapalli it mainly main work is uh, for example to bring about the manufacturing of boilers and turbines turbine in the sense the wind mills turbines for the specializing another one we talk about the bill third one so first one integral coach in chennai another one bill in tuchapalli now bill in turn which one started with it industrial clusters of several small firms catering to its input requirements so the in the, uh, the bill which is trichapalli has also brought about through the industrial cluster a lot of inputs which are required the third one is the heavy vehicles heavy vehicles which was set up to manufacture tanks in avadi so the third one we talk about the heavy vehicle factory okay which is situated in uh, uh, so called avadi which was in the outskirt of chennai okay it is located the outskirts of chennai the major work of this the, the standard motors which also started manufacturing of cars it is also located in chennai another one is ashok motors and today uh, earlier later it was called as ashok leyland another one is the standard motors all together helped to form an automobile cluster in chennai region so automobile cluster in chennai region so all the heavy vehicle factories joined together for example we talked about standard motors ashok leyland okay and then automobile so very standard motors this all joined together and made a automobile cluster in chennai region to talk about avadi industrial estate which was established in the year 1950s after independence so to support the small and medium companies supplying to them a large firms in the region so uh, smaller industries small firms they were supplying the lot of goods more hydroelectric power projects in the state in tamil nadu were also initiated during this particular time this production of electricity increase 
the spread of the electrification the machines are made as a earlier they used the fuels later on they made as the uh, electrification so they started to use the electricity the government played a very very important role in all these processes to make it as a electrifying the machines uh, you production clustering of industries of particular region so to say even in salem the steel plant which was set up in the year 1973 it produces stainless steel so salem is known for stainless steel production in the year 1970s and in the year 1980s the years saw the setting up of an emergence of power loom weaving earlier we had a hand loom weaving now in this time duration 70s to 80s there started a power loom weaving which also joined together all the industry joined together clusters in the coimbatore region so in the 70s to 80s all these uh, power loom weaving industries joined together and they started a new cluster and the expansion of cotton knitwear cluster it joined with the tirupur and home furnishing cluster in karur so along with this so called the uh, coimbatore regions clusters by seeing that there was the tripur region clusters another one karur region clusters all joined together so they developed more and more one became an example for another one and they started to uh, have a competition and collaboration among themselves in special when you talk about the hosur okay hosur industrial cluster which is a successful case of how such a policy efforts to promote industrial estates help to develop industries in a backward region so we talk about tirupur karur we talked about coimbatore all developed in the better manner but even in the backward region there can be a industrial cluster which can grow to the higher level example is hosur now we talked about industrial uh, industrialization during the colonial period we talked about industrialization after the independence in 1990s now we are going to talk about industrialization in tamil nadu in the manner of liberalization phase so we talked about industrialization in tamil nadu how the liberalization areas develop very much in tamil nadu that's the concept we are going to talk about now when we talk about this the in the 1990s there are post reform periods uh, they developed industrialization the governments are more responsible for the resource mobilization the goods the resources available movement mobilization and they were forced to compete with each other for the for example the attractive private investments for the individualization so they encourage more of private companies and ask them to compete so that they can have a lot of production that's what the government encourage them and because of that they developed a cheap they started to provide the government started to provide cheap land and they did not ask them to for the tax for the land or for the industry so the tax and concessions and they also given the subsidies but quality power were all offered okay all these okay subsidies were given as well as the quality power were given to these particular industries for the development so privatization like uh, okay giving the freedom or liberalization in this manner let's say okay cheap land land was given in the cheap rate okay for the development of the industry second one the tax concession was given and the third one subsidies were given with the better electric power because that was very much uh, uh, they invented and they started to distribute to the industries when you talk about the trade liberalization very important one 
free to move about free to uh, move from one place to another place uh, free to sell the goods from one place to another place liberalization was brought about trade liberalization another one important one is the currency devaluation currency devaluation devolution is that we can have a exchange of any type of currency we can uh, we can go and buy and sell because the values are more or less uh, similar it helped to open the export markets people asked because we can have a change means change of currency all this made people to have even exporting the goods to various other countries when you talk about all these the important industries in tamil nadu the state which evolved over much longer period the major industries are like a sugar industry fertilizers industry cement industry agriculture implements agricultural implements we talk about the iron and steel industry chemicals industry and the transformers and the paper industries so these are the industries okay which started to evolve over a, a much longer period and because of all these factors tamil nadu at present has a large number of the factories among all the states in india and also has the largest share of workforce means the uh, workers employ in manufacturing only involved in industries development and for the uh, to say to be proud of it is more labor intensive uh, compared to the other industrial advanced states like maharashtra and gujarat so that is the best advantage we can give to the tamil nadu industries so they are giving a large opportunity for the employment and we know the various other problems that we face today and we also see to it unlike other states our tamil nadu industries are spread across all the regions of the state when you talk about other states compared to tamil nadu they are distributed okay different place only particular regions is given to the particular industries whereas in tamil nadu different areas are given for different types of industry so that all the uh, people in tamil nadu get an opportunity get uh, employment employed in the particular different types of industries there are 7, 27 clusters in 13 districts of of tamil nadu with many of them being export oriented as well for example tirupur they export uh, cotton textiles are being exported so specialized in various things the state has well developed in the roadways railways airways and major ports so these are all supporting these industrial developments so this is also very very important geography you might have learned the trade and transport in that our industries are very much supported by these particular factors the major industrial cluster and other specialization in tamil nadu though we talked about the how the industries are being clustered with one another what are the areas what are the particular field what are the particular uh, industries are uh, developed in the different clusters now we are talking about major industrial clusters in tamil nadu and the and the special what is the special production output first one we are going to talk about automotive cluster chennai madras is nicknamed as the toriet of asia for what purpose because it produces a large auto industry based so various types of productions industrial means automobile productions are done in chennai so even in asia it is known as it has got a good name because of this industry and it has a large number of auto assembling auto assembling component making firms so chennai is famous for this particular and there were few domestic firms domestic firms is a smaller domestic firms we call as tvs 
uh, TA cycles, Ashok Leyland, and the standard motors. Okay, this all reform a particular period, particular time duration. There are also multinational corporations, other countries' production, for example, Hyundai, Ford, Daimler Benz, Renault, Nissan, and various other multinational corporations also have the component supply from uh, foreign countries to our uh, particular country in different areas. Okay, when you talk about the automatic cluster in Chennai, we will move same automotive clusters in Hosur. They are also develop another cluster in Hosur with the firms like a TVS and Ashok Leinland having their factories in Hosur. So, another cluster which also started. Third a cluster which is started in the Coimbatore region, they are developing into auto component clusters. So, when you talk about automotive clusters, Chennai, Hosur, and Coimbatore. So, these are the region in the specialization of a particular area. The second one, truck and bus bodybuilding industry cluster. Okay, the we talk about auto, auto means in the sense uh, mobile uh, auto fitting means all the other types of production glass, leather, okay, sponge, various things are involved. But the bodybuilding, the basic engine and the basic elements are fixed in the particular area, mainly Namakkal and Trichangodu. Okay, in this particular region in the western Tamil Nadu, which is known for the truck bus bodybuilding industry and along with Namakkal and Tirchangodu, Karur also is another major uh, area which has more than 50 units. So the truck and bus uh, bodybuilding is located in Namakkal, Tirchangodu and Karur region. Another famous and very very important industry is the textile. So we have textile clusters in various areas. So we are going to talk about. So to say when you talk about when you say textiles, we remember Tirupur. Tamil Nadu is home to the large textile sectors in our country because the development of cotton textile industry which is uh, since the colonial period from the colonial period from Tamil Nadu we start to develop more and more. Coimbatore which is known for it often referred as the Manchester of South India. So uh, Coimbatore is very very important one which gives a lot of uh, output of these textiles. At present most of the spinning mills they moved around Coimbatore city. Okay, so they have developed around. So, what are the places? First one, power loom. Power loom, which is in Erode and as well as Salem region. So, power looms are very much used in this particular region. Second one is a cotton knitwear, which is very, very famous in Tirupur. When you talk about Tirupur, 80% of the country's cotton knitwear exports. 80% what is produced are being exported. It brings a lot of income to our state as well as our country. Another one, it gives a lot of employment to the people. When you talk about 3 lakh people from the year 1980s, from the year 1980 onward, 3 lakh people are involved in this, okay, employed in this uh, uh, network, cotton network activities industry. Another one, when you talk about the home furnishing, like a table, cloth, curtains, uh, bed covers and towels, it is mainly famous in Karur. So, in this particular area, we are, these clusters are in Karur. Another one is the carpets, uh, both for the domestic as well as for the global, means exporting global markets. It is in Bhavani, okay, and as well as it is also in the Kumarapalayam. Okay, in this particular region, they we have a major centers of production of these particular products. Another very very important is Tamil Nadu is a famous for silk and cotton handloom saris. Silk and cotton handloom saris, which is was mainly centered in Madurai and Kanchipuram. 
okay they are very very famous and these products these textile clusters are in and around those region the third cluster is a leather and leather goods clusters leather and the leather goods not only leather also based based on the leather what are the products we get it so these clusters when you talk about tamil nadu 60% of the leather tanning capacity in india so out of all the production in the leather production in india 60% is from tamil nadu 38% of all the leather footwear our sandals and all that as the same time garments and like for example bags and various other purse belts all the types of garments and the other components everything is from tamil nadu 38% and when you talk about hundreds of leather and the tannery facilities are located in and around velu and it is nearly uh, when you talk about uh, uh, velu and the nearby towns because the places like rani pet ambur vaniyambadi these are the places around in and around velur are famous for tanning of these all these products to say about the velur district it is a top exporter of finished leather goods in the country it produces velur produces a uh, high quality products of leather this leather processing is done also in chennai dindukal as well as in erod so it also has some other places the industries are located and the famous one is the velur district very important now we are uh, uh, coming closer to diwali when you remember diwali we just once we remember about the fireworks another one matches and printing clusters so firework and matches and printing clusters when you talk about these are all mainly is centered on we talk about the sivagasi sivagasi region is very famous for for match industries and now become a major center of printing and fireworks in the country okay when you talk about sivagasi it is believed that sivagasi contributes around 90% of firework production in india only 10% around okay in when you talk about in india 80% of the safety matches okay so 80% of the safety matches are being produced in tamil nadu mainly in sivagasi and 60% of the offset printings are being give okay produced in sivagasi okay all these industries when you talk about have they origin in the colonial period even before independence during the colony period they had the origin and at present offer employment to a large number of workers so sometimes we have to also be thankful to the people who have brought about this industrialization to india okay the next one we talk about the electronics and the information technology clusters very very important at present in the 21st century when you talk about the economic reform started in the year 1990s and after that in tamil nadu state which has seen a entry of a hardware and electronic manufacturers for example nokia foxion motorola sony ericsson samsung okay of all these another one dell these are all making a cellular handset a phone various other type of electronic products devices circuits we talk about circuit boards and a so called the consumer electronics so all these products are being so it is done through this particular uh, it clusters okay industrial technology clusters yes we will proceed with when all these are very famous in tamil nadu what is the contribution of government towards these industrial clusters these industries which is developing in tamil nadu so the last topic is the policy factors that help the industrialization process in tamil nadu when i talk about policy factors which can divide into three aspects what are those three aspects first one is the education 
which we are receiving now which is very very basic and very very important for all the activities second one is the infrastructure what makes us what helps us to develop more and more and the third one is the industrial promotion so these are the three aspects which we are going to talk about okay which becomes a major area of policy factors to say about education what education makes us when you are educated more and more it makes us skilled very very well developed intellectually alert intellectually capable of various activities so when you talk about industries required at present a skilled human resource a lot of attentions to the primary education given by the government the promote literacy even today we have a literacy for the grown up children so the education literacy is very very important it develops a skilled human resource to the industry and our state is known for its vast supply of technical human resource in the world even when we talk about the high intellectual in the technology in the world we talk about might be many of them are from india especially from tamil nadu so that's what we uh, tamil nadu is proud of another one it is a home to one of the largest number of engineering colleges so many college engineering college and one of the largest number of engineering colleges which are located here at the same time polytechnics industrial training centers in our country so tamil nadu is a center and the famous for various aspects the second aspect is the infrastructure what is this particular infrastructure when you talk about apart from the investments in education transport and energy infrastructure as we have seen already the active policy efforts were made to promote a specific sectors and also industrialization in a specific region there are some agencies that have played a key role in the industrialization in the state of tamil nadu the industrial for example particular agencies are there so like a corporations they have developed in our government which supports in the development of industrialization so we are going to see some list of them uh, first one is a sip court state industry industries promotion corporation of tamil nadu so what is the major work when it was started okay it was formed in the year 1971 and the major work of this particular agency is to promote industrial growth in the state and setting up industrial estates and the second one is tansit co tamil nadu small industries development corporation it was started in the year 1970s it was established in 1970s and the major work is to promote small scale industries in the particular state and to give subsidies some concession and provide technical assistance for new firms in the small scale sectors the third one is uh, titco tamil nadu industrial development corporation this was formed and established in the year 1965 it is also another uh, government agency to promote industries in the state and to establish industrial estates so not only to support and to establish the estates also is a major work of this particular agency another one is tic tic tamil nadu industrial investment corporation limited it started and it was formed in the year 1949 and the major intention is to provide low cost financial support for both the setting up of new units at the same time for the expansion of existing unit for developing a particular i mean unit the firms 
another one is the tansi tamil nadu small industries corporation limited which was established in the year 1965 actually it is supposed to be the first industrial so called the corporation operating in the domain for small enterprises so these are the agencies which are supporting the industrialization in tamil nadu that is of our state so we have to know this when you start your industry when you want to develop when you want to become a businessman you can approach these agencies support to grow in a better manner there are some issues with the industrialization there are some problems in the industrialization what are those though tamil nadu has emerged as a relatively highly industrialized state compared to all the states in india the state faces a few issues in sustaining the process what are those major issues first one polluting the influence and the affects health pollution is a major issue at present and always because of chemicals textiles and leather clusters they tend to generate lot of polluting influence that affect our health first issue the second one one is uh, the employment generation gives a, has a, a decline because use of frontier technologies because of the need of a uh, competed globally today everything becomes automatic timing so need not have a manual labor to employ there so because of there is also employment uh, problems are emerging at present to uh, compete with the global uh, uh, industrial uh, industrial markets so this is uh, another major issue which tamil nadu faces so these are the two major issues we can talk about first one is the pollution second one because of the uh, automated machines we lose a labor employment so these are the two major uh, issues which we face in tamil nadu the last one is called as the entrepreneur very important person he is the inventor of a new ideas and business process so who is the entrepreneur the entrepreneur is the inventor one who finds something new of ideas as well as the business process he possesses uh, okay okay management skills he is supposed to possess a management skills uh, a team building a strong team building you should have a, a leadership quality and team building abilities and also have a, a leadership of qualities to manage the business so he is called as the entrepreneur another term entrepreneurship it is the process of an action of the entrepreneur who undertakes to establish his enterprises his work activities and you also talk about this entrepreneurship is an ability to create and build something not the same something different so that is what called as entrepreneurship so entrepreneur is the one who brings about the new idea and the business process entrepreneurship is his activity action of entrepreneur so that's what we talk about this in the industrialization in the industries what is the role of entrepreneur what is his major role entrepreneurs play a most important role in the economic growth and development of country's economy the first one to say he removes the regional disparities by industrializing rural and backward areas so he finds something new in the backward region and develops it second one helps the country to increase its gdp gross domestic product and per capita income so it's another work of him so it's a major very important person 
he promotes a capital formation by mobilizing uh, idle savings of the citizen and the country's export trade he promotes the capital formation by uh, various aspects which we export to other countries entrepreneurs provide a large scale employment to the artisan technically qualified persons and the professionals try to the maximize profits by the innovation by his new ideas new technology he tries to bring something new and more and more and he develops the people too and the next one is they enable the people to avail better quality goods at low price earlier people used to waste lot of resource lot of energy for a simple thing today without any effort we can achieve a great things these are all because of the ideas of these entrepreneurs so they are able to provide a better quality goods in the low price and this results in the improvement of the standard living of the people which we call as a per capita income yes my dear friends this industrialization this industrial cluster of tamil nadu has brought a uh, a good standard life a living standard of our people to a particular level where which has abolished poverty and various aspects we need to encourage it at the same time we should also be alert and aware of the effects these industries provide to us so industries has to be for the betterment of our living for the growth of human being and it should not be for the destruction so we try to how to balance both then these industries can bring us support and that industrial cluster can bring us the economic development of the country thank you